It's Thursday, May 31st, 2007, and you are watching The Ointment. Today is International Non-Tobacco Day. I'm Steve Tatum, and don't smoke them if you got them. Our top story is a little guy who has highly contagious tuberculosis gets on an airplane and flies to Europe. Genius. He insists that those who were advising him about his health care did not insist that he not fly, they simply recommended it. Yes, they didn't insist he not act like a moron, they just recommended it. Imagine you get on an airplane and you get off with TB. The way airfares are now, they usually charge you extra for that. Paul Wolfowitz resigned earlier this month as president of the World Bank amidst a scandal and President Bush has just announced who he is going to nominate as Wolfowitz's replacement. His name is Robert Zolak, and as with most Bush appointees these days, he's scheduled in 18 months to step down in shame. President Bush is saying of those who criticize his new immigration reform legislation, they do not want what's best for America. And by America, he means Los Estados Unidos. Speaking of America, the United States and Mexico, Miss USA was booed heavily over the weekend at a beauty pageant in Mexico. When she appeared on stage for the interview portion of the show, she was booed at and hissed at by the Mexican audience. Now, she may be a bubble headed, vacant hottie representing an evil empire, but that's our bubble headed, vacant hottie, and that's our evil empire. So back off, Mexico. And when I say vacant, bubble-headed hottie representing an evil empire, no, I don't mean John Edwards, although she did have a $400 haircut. Fathers, lock up your daughters. The National Spelling Bee is in town. It concludes today. 286 contestants meet to compete to see who is the nation's best speller. Now, I'm not the world's greatest speller, but I can sum up all these contestants in three letters, OCD. And finally, actor Fred Thompson of TV's Law & Order is rumored to be joining the sweepstakes to seek the Republican nomination for the presidency of the United States. Why is Thompson waiting so long? Well, because like all good TV actors, he knows that a new campaign doesn't really get kick-started until the fall season. However, he just may get canceled after 13 weeks. That's the ointment for another day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Steve Tatum, and that's news. We'll catch you tomorrow, everybody.